Hello and welcome to the vlog. Real quick, today I want to talk about this movie called The Man From Earth. And I have to say, I've put quite a few of these clips out there. Quite a few. And I don't know if I've talked about The Man From Earth before. I, I can't remember one way or another. This is what happens when you become old. But hey, I'm a happy old man enjoying life and martial arts. So. The Man from Earth is my favorite movie of all times. Um, this is a movie from 2008 to 2007. Um, very uh, humble production, not a big budget movie at all. And basically the entire movie is just a few, a few people in a, in a house. That's it. It's, a, it's an evening that they spend together and they talk. I can reveal this. Because if you go, like I have this movie off of um, Amazon Video, and if you read the quick uh, summary, whatever that's called, the paragraph that they give you, this detail that I'm gonna say, it's there, so I'm not spoiling anything. Uh, the man, the main character, the guy, his name is John Oldman in the, in the movie. I think he's, the name of the actor is David Lee Smith. Um, He's basically going away, moving, and he's a teacher, and the fellow teachers and friends come with some taquitos and beer, and they just do a little bit of a farewell celebration for him, and they're wishing him the best, and they're saying, we're gonna miss you. And in the middle of that discussion, he reveals to them that he's 14,000 years old, right? It's a fascinating movie. My favorite movie of all times, and you'll be surprised about this because Civil Francis, how come your favorite movie is not a Kung Fu movie or a martial arts movie? So there's so much in that movie, right? But there's a scene in which he, he has just revealed this fact and everyone is obviously like going crazy, but they're still not upset or anything. Later on, they get upset, uh, but they're just like really fascinated with this topic and they're asking questions and of course they don't believe him but they're playing with the idea, you know? With the hypothesis. There's, there's scientists, most of them. There's an archeologist, there's an anthropologist, there's a biologist. Uh, later on, there is a psychologist, psychiatrist. Very interesting scenario, very well thought out. And he goes out because he's packing his pickup truck because he's moving and he comes back in and one of the guys, the biologist actually, is waiting hidden and when he comes in he jumps on him tries to hold him and later on he reveals he was a second degree black belt and I don't know if it means judo right for whatever he tried to do I don't really know but he said I'm a second degree black belt but anyway he come behind him he comes behind him and John Oldman the main character grabs him very easily gets rid of that and puts him on the floor in a submission position and say, what are you doing? There's no arrogance at all. All this, he's just shocked and had a quick reaction. You can tell he's not even like aware of what he just did. And, and the, then the biologist says, no, I just wanted to see how fast you were, he says. I wanted to see how fast you were. And he said, well, I don't have eyes in the back of my head. I'm not, I'm not like a superhero, I'm just a guy just old you know and he said well I'm a second degree black belt and then he says that's that's okay give it another thousand years right give it another thousand years and this scene resonates with me very much you know this uh, when I was training with uh, many times training with my teacher and even recently I'm doing one particular move of a particular form actually, I, I can say, our second form, and doing one particular thing that he taught me a while ago. I think he taught me this about two years ago. And I still don't do it well at all. And in the eyes of someone outside of this context, it could be like, man, how can it take you so long? But in the eyes of my teacher and other people in the system, he said, two years doing this is nothing. Nothing. Seriously. It'll click. Keep doing it done no but I've been trying to use this is why when people tell you ah you can learn in six martial arts in six months I don't believe it 
you don't have to agree with me. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. And actually, that's the most beautiful thing about the arts. You know, it's not an easy thing you get done and move on. It's a lifelong endeavor. And there are things that take a long time to click because you've been an entire life moving in a different way, right? You've been an entire lifetime moving in a different way. What makes you think you can create a new habit just because you train? And this is assuming you are constant with your training just because you train a few hours a day or even a few hours a, or even less a few hours a week. How can you overcome years and years and years of, of training and upbringing, right? And your constant life today still, in normal life today, at work and in society, you don't move this way. So it, it's like if you say, well, I've been trying this in two years, I've passed and I still don't get it. Many people, people who know what we're talking about, and I would react like that to other things that I seem to have gotten better, I would tell someone else, yeah, that's fine. It's only two years. What do you expect, man? Keep doing it. This is not about is it well, is it right or is it wrong. This is about keep training. That's where the value is. You know, the day you do it well, so what? Doing it well and four dollars would get you a Starbucks coffee. So it's not about doing it well. That's not the goal. Keep doing it. That's where your transformation as a human being is occurring. You know. And so this movie that has millions of things I could talk about also has this particular martial arts moment in which he says, well, give it another thousand years. And he says that because he's had 14,000 years and he's obviously, he comes from pre prehistory, so he's fought and he's, he knows. I, he never says I know martial arts, but he can take care of himself because apparently he's had to. And so he says, yeah, don't worry, give it another thousand years. Almost as if like it's a nonchalant comment if you were to basically he's on the second degree black belt if you were to just continue training as you are now nothing too crazy you'll be good in a thousand years that's not that much for that guy who is 14,000 years old you know what I mean so it's a positive comment I love that because it truly works that way now there are things you learn faster because everybody has strengths and everybody has weaknesses but I particularly am a big fan of working on weaknesses because that's the whole, well, not the whole, but it's one of the big aspects of martial arts. Turn your weakness into strengths through training. It takes time. It'll click one day. You know, it'll click one day. And also, who are we to lie to ourselves? We're not in that situation in which people train eight hours a day. And this is not, we're not professional fighters and we're not in the ancient origin of the martial arts where if you didn't learn to do this, you died. So it was life and death and only those that did it well survived. This actually has happened historically. We're not there. And you know what? Thankfully, it would be a horrible, stressful life if you were the little worm running away from the ego all the time. That's not the life I want. So, you know, if you fantasize about that, you don't know it. It's like, you know, the Mark Mark Young once said, you know, for people that fantasize of this Wild West situation, man, you have no idea what it is like because if you get sick, you run two blocks and you are in a pharmacy and you can buy medicines that save your life. Trust me, you don't want that to go away, right? The entire humankind has fought really hard to get to the point you're in now. Anyway, give it another thousand years and be safe. <laughs>